The double question question. This is a great tool to get someone to answer in complete sentences, who at the beginning of the interview was only answering you in single words, like, yeah, great, no, eh. Basically, all answers too short to make air, and that's in a package where you have the most creative control. You certainly can't fit any of those answers into a VOSOT. So, if someone is answering you in single word answers, ask them two questions at once. For example, who was with you and how to go. This will force them to answer you in a complete sentence because you've asked them so much information. This is a great trick for those of you who might go out there and put together what's called natural sound packages where you only use natural sound and in interviews to tell the story. And the point there is that you don't use your voice at all. Photographers who don't go on the air do these kinds of stories all the time. In fact, I'm a reporter and I did it once for breaking news because using sound bites from a firefighter and reaction sound bites from those watching this home burn down was the fastest way to write, edit, and get the story on the air. So the double question question is a great tool. The key here is the word and using the word and to bridge question one and bridge question two so that they're actually connected together. Because if you were to ask somebody just two separate questions, they may just choose which one they want to answer. Politicians and those who are heavily media trained are very good at this. But for this trick, this is for with regular people because politicians and people who are media trained they're going to avoid your question anyway, no matter what you ask. So again, to get somebody to answer in complete sentences, question one and question two, and you're good. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to reach out.